There's a common misconception that there's only one species of tick. In reality, up to 40 different kinds of ticks can be found in Canada, and it's alarming to find a tick on yourself, a pet, or a child. With the growing need for better identification, Canadian research company eTick is helping us all out. eTick is an image-based tick identification platform. Anyone who's a resident of, of Canada can actually submit a tick, so images and the information about where it was found, when it was found, uh, to our platform. And then a member of our team, they will look at the image and identify the tick to species. Once you submit your photo to eTick, an expert will then follow up with any risks and provide you with the resources you need. Every time a person does a submission, once we identify it, a dot appears on our map. So the map is uh, updated in real time. And so anyone can go and navigate on our map to see what was found by other residents close to their home or places they're intent to visit. The eTick team has said the American dog tick has been extremely popular this year for submissions. In Ontario this year, we have close to 4,000 submissions of that species. We only had 1,000 last year. Same thing for, for Nova Scotia. We have almost 10 times as many American dog tick this year than we did last year. On the contrary, in Saskatchewan, last year at this exact date, we had close to 1,500 submissions. This year, I'm not even sure we've reached 300. Now, the positive news is this tick has very little medical relevance for humans or pets. And we should remember, eTick's numbers are based on user submission. Another finding from their research that's a little more alarming is the rise in the black-legged tick. This species does spread Lyme. Out east, the black-legged tick was not even in Quebec, Ontario, and the Maritimes about three to four decades ago. The black-legged tick is now a lot more abundant, but also has a much wider distribution range than it did only a few decades ago. This tool will help researchers track the rise in ticks, and it should help Canadians become more aware of what ticks they may encounter and where.